welcome to Kike's chat. I am Shirley. Christy, what's good? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just blacked out for some reason. Ah, uh, yes, we are here to review Netflix. Always be my maybe. Directed by Nanachka Khan. I think that's the director's name. I'm so sorry. I hope I got it. And yes, it yeah. stars Ali Wong and Randall Park and Keanu Reeves. Hey yo. <laughs> and yes, this is like probably really late because this movie came out in the end of May. But we have been having trouble with our cameras, so we haven't been able to do our reviews. No. So, yeah, it's been kind of sucky, actually. Because we love doing this, and we love giving our opinions, our critiques, our joy, our smiles, and yes, come on this ride. Yay! Yay yeah. So, I guess, we'll, welcome back to us. <laughs> us. So, anyways, yes, the film. Yes. Always be my baby. Mm. Childhood Friends, 1996. They're about 12. This is, um... Sasha and Marcus and this is set in San Francisco and that's how the film of course starts and then it's basically about like how when they are teenagers and like I think it was 2003 right something like that yeah. it could be wrong um they broke apart and then 15 years or no not 15 years Oof, was it 15 years maybe 15 years later um sorry about that math um they meet up again in their 30s when they're you know, have careers now, and, and yeah, I guess, and having fun. Yeah. I don't know. So Marcus works with his dad and his company. I think they're repair, um, air condition repair. I guess so. Men I think that's what it was. Yes, sort of I, I, I think that's what it was. They had he works with him in San Francisco, and Sasha's in I think L.A. Right? Was she in L.A. or somewhere else? She was a chef over there, and she's, like, trying to open up restaurants. Like, And then she moves to San yes, Francisco. Yes, and then so she goes, she back, goes to back to San Francisco, and, like, I guess, I don't know, life. She sees Marcus again, who is installing uh, her air conditioner, air conditioner and nothing else. And nothing else, yes. Uh -huh. And so they're like, oh, hey, hey, and all that weirdness. Um, Destiny. Yes, and so it's a cute movie it's a really cute movie it's a romantic comedy it's fun i really liked their chemistry ali and um uh randall and the actors they were really good especially randall park as marcus he was so funny some of the lines killed me man like the shit like the shit he says was just what killed. was that shot that he wasn't looking for a suit yeah and he saw the price and, and he was like this is burning burning he was like off. oh my god this is all fire get it off get it off and i was like <laughs> that should go but you gotta see it because it was just so funny because i guess we connected to marcus a lot because you know we ain't like you know rich or anything but like, we're, we're like lower middle class so it's like or you know, so we, we we struggle in life and we get where he's coming from. But also we understand where yeah. Sasha was coming from as well and how that relationship and they're trying to rebuild that friendship and then ultimately maybe getting further in the relationship again, trying that again. And how like, you know, yes, he's they're both from different worlds, but they have to like, not only Sasha has to understand Marcus's world, she he has to understand her world as well. Right, you know, he can't be like, he can't feel bad or anything or feel like, you know, I guess not good enough, you know, and be like, because she chose you and all that stuff and, or something like that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I like their chemistry. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Their balance was really nice, the finding that compromise in the relationship. One thing that really drew me to this uh, movie was the fact that they were both uh, the Asian community. Like they were in a relationship because you oftentimes see movies where someone is either African American or Latino and they're coming together, or white and Latino, or white and African American. Whereas they 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 were just you know two people from the Asian community and they came and they made and they had this story and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful romantic story with so much twists and turns. Yeah, I love that so most of the cast was from and, the Asian. And I love it because they wrote it together. They, oh, oh, right. they wrote it together. They wrote it even in mind with Keanu Reeves as oh, in yeah, mind for his character. Yeah, and then uh, Randall Park was like totally shocked. When they when actually he, got him? When they got him. He said, oh, yes, I would love to do it. It would be an honor God. to do this romantic story or some sort of like. Oh my God. That's what he said. I was like, oh, 
Keanu. Of course, he sounds like that. It's funny. <laughs> Who doesn't love Keanu from the Speed days? His that, speed that was, that's my oh. movie. Yo. That's speed when I fell in love with Keanu, and I, I forever will Keanu. be in love with Keanu. This is like a Keanu like love fest. What's it called? Um, Keanu Sans right now? Oh, what, everything he's doing? Yeah, yeah he's coming back. Keanu Sans. That's yeah. too much. Anyways, yes, uh, he plays Keanu Reeves. <laughs> he plays himself and he's, I guess, uh, watch the movie. I guess you find out like he's going out with Sasha and stuff. And yeah. Uh, how that relationship and everything. So it was actually really interesting. He doesn't really play, like it's interesting the way he plays himself like it's mm -hmm. kind of funny because it's not really he can't really show himself on the screen in the sense he has to play a character so but he's very eccentric right a different i guess a different version of himself right. i guess so yeah that was funny um the only thing that i like san francisco and i love how food was so important especially to sasha's story and how like it like um i don't know it it developed who she was as a person growing up right you know and how that connection she had with marcus's mother and how she taught her how to cook i'm guessing that's what you that's what they show unless yeah. she already just knew no, how to cook yeah. i don't know um yes i just love how yeah food just brings you back home and how powerful it is and how it has those connections to family and friends it's it's very important and how it, it, it makes you grow as well as a person yeah mm. so that was pretty cool yeah, San Francisco was really beautiful. Can we talk about Randall Parks' band? So, music was a big part of this story. You can see it from the beginning. Yeah. They start with hip-hop right away. And a lot of it is hip-hop. You, you have some really pop culture songs in it and some oldie goodies ones too from like probably the 80s or something. But hip-hop really stood on this film. And it was really nice to see that because I, that was big in the 90s, mm -hmm. early 2000s, mm -hmm. even, you know, early 90s, even late 80s. But, there was a lot of hip-hop, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, like... Yeah. I mean, it's still big now, but it was the center of music back in the day. Like, they played Mariah Carey song, the one that, that they did the title I, for, like, kind of changed it. Like, they did that twist, like, always be my baby. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, that probably was because they played it in the end and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, so funny. that was great. His band was weird. It was, but it totally worked with his character and. The lyrics that they came up with, they even came yeah, up with a song him. for Keanu. Yeah. I was like, this is awesome. So I felt like this was really an authentic story, the original story. Like, of course, it was rom-com, rom yeah. romantic comedy. The only thing I didn't want, I wish, the, um, I wish they had, like, more to do with the supporting cast and the characters mm -hmm. and we got to learn from them more. But again, it's a romantic comedy. It's a simple story, but it's fun and cute. I guess they didn't want to... Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. expand too much because they did, just didn't yeah, have no. enough. And that's that's understandable, yeah. you know? You can't... you Because sometimes it's, it's tricky because you could over, like, clutter a film with just too, too much development or, like, subplots and everything. So I could see where they're just like, look, it's a romantic comedy. That's a... It's fun. It's cute. And the, yeah, and do. I mean, And the characters have some funny moments, so it's not like they're, like, very, like, don't really have much that much development but i wish i got more yeah. from them there were moments in the movie that kind of slow, slowed down the story yeah and you know didn't it kind of felt connected as much as the other parts mm -hmm. kind of felt slow and but overall it's, it's really an enjoyable story to watch mm -hmm. i do love the the the, the characters the who her friend yeah her friend veronica, veronica or something yeah who was the actress's name i forgot her name Oh, no, Michelle Boutia? 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 No, Bouteau. Bouteau. Oh, Michelle Bouteau. Bouteau. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bouteau. My writing's horrible. Uh, yes, she was really good. I liked her. I liked her. Funny. I think she's a comedian. As far as, um, like, what do you call it, the term? The appropriate term for characters? The Support? Supporting no. characters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, she, I thought she was very fun. I thought she was cool. She was like that, just like, really direct <laughs> she funny. was very direct i liked it um and she was pregnant in the story yeah. i was like get yeah, go and show what pregnant women going through right now just like killing working. it yeah so. that's nice and just sasha being very successful woman and mm -hmm. not feeling like she had to like be with another six like quote unquote successful man. I guess right? in her level of success, yeah. in I guess. In her level of success. Yeah. Um, so I thought I, I thought did that like story that was nice. In the end that line about him like accepting the fact that he has to accept who Sasha is and how she's successful and everything and 
you know, she need, she don't need to dumb herself down for him or anything like that. And and that ending line about how he, you know, he just wanted to take her first. I thought that was cute. Like, I was like, yeah, that was nice. That was like, yes, yes. let me hold your purse. And yeah, exactly. So, you know, we give it three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Four thumbs just up. watch the dang movie yes, if you're on it. Netflix, Netflix if you have Netflix yes. of course if you don't watch have Netflix it. I'm sorry get yeah. the free month one because <laughs> if you haven't seen when they see us then you gotta yes that was another that review that we did maybe that we still need to like and probably do yeah we did all, we did the review for when they see us but it totally did not work no. so we haven't been able to put so it we're on. gonna try to see if so we can... look out for that yes anyways thank you for watching subscribe like ring that bell put comments down below about what you liked about the movie what you didn't like and you know whatever and else if you're you a fan of mariah carey's always be my maybe baby baby <laughs> so the title baby. i said the title yeah. oh, i love you so um, peace out everybody peace, peace.